train compensation pa. Senders should be reimbursed automatically, MPs hear. Conservative MP Ho Merriman told that Commons that the current route for passengers to claim compensation was complex and cumbersome, and as a result millions were missing out. The Bex Hill and Battle MP, proposing his automatic travel compensation bill, said that it was time travel operators gave something back. He said, my bill would ensure that passengers on trains, flights and other domestic transport systems automatically receive in their bank account the delay and repay compensation due to them without first having to work out their rights or apply for it. The mechanism for claiming refunds for delays and cancellations is complex and cumbersome as we found with Ryanair. The rules are not always explained correctly or explained at all to passengers. This is at a time when innovation in technology should be lessening the need for passenger administration in red tape. Mr. Merriman, who sits on the Transport Select Committee, told MPs that the Transport Secretary had previously told him the government had to have a compelling reason to intervene in the way he was proposing. He added, This for me summarizes the situation and it provides the justification for this bill, the airline industry has to adopt a one-sized-fits-all approach for rules driven by the UK border agency, the Civil Aviation Authority, NATS, the European Union and other agencies and regulators. I believe the airline industry can take this additional step, and I believe that train operators and those running our ferries, trams, buses and other modes of transport could do likewise. The compelling reason for parliament and government to do so is that millions of passengers are not only being inconvenienced by delays but are not being compensated. It is time for those responsible for the passenger to give something back without further work from the passenger. The bill was listed for a second reading on March 16 next year but is unlikely to become a law in its current form without government support or sufficient parliamentary time.